Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Agu Guy. An interesting little suit that came from the developments for the intended invasion or taking of Jabaro. This unit is from the Agu line of infantry suits which are separate from the Ak Guy suits. Even though it's a combination of the Agu and Ak Guy, it's a, a massive mess. But regardless this is a 250 cost to 400 cost i'm not sure if there's a higher level than this Ra ground capable raid with a ballistic resistance of seven a beam resistance of seven a melee resistance of 10 a range strength of five a melee strength of 20 a movement speed of a blazing 120 at this level and a thrust gauge of 60. for parts we have close range of seven medium of six and three for long now th the reality is you're probably going to end up mostly using the 300 cost and there's a slight bit of difference but they are very close as you can see i'll just do that one more time and there we go for equipment we have the large caliber head vulcans it doesn't have the quad uh setup that you would see in the agu or the ak guy this is a larger a uh, more substantial air quote uh, setup. Um, it's up to 200 uh, range, which is oddly enough pretty decent for this unit, especially since you're probably going to use it either as a backup weapon when you're backing off a target or when you're advancing on them, trying to build up that stagger. Then we have its true weapon, the multi heat rod, a very high damaging for the level um, and fairly long range. I know it doesn't have a range on here, but you don't have to get right up on people like you do with a lot of other melee weapons. You'll see that in the match. This is actually very, very bad for a lot of people and a lot of people don't expect just how far away you can get them with it. Then we have the heat rod. Which again, they don't list the range, but it's a ranged attack. It fires the heat rods out forward, very close to what you would see the guff doing, um, and it can stagger. For skills, we have high performance balancer, maneuver armor, anti-blast stabilizer, special head buffer level two, emergency evasion system, high performance radar, stealth, melee combo controller, and assault booster. I only wish this unit had forced injectors, but, you know, that's crying poor with a suit that is in no way poor. Ah, what can I say about this unit? This can either be a feast or fa famine suit. It can either feel insane or it can feel horrendously bad. Depending on the teams that you get up or go up against and the players that you end up encountering. It's a very well-rounded suit for what it is. It can get knocked out really quick, but it can put out some absurd levels of damage. And if you can get um, a support off by itself, the support really doesn't have much in the way of a chance against this unit. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic beginning of your week. This is a video I wasn't quite sure if I was going to use or not, but, you know, I thought it served as both a good example of this unit and kind of what to expect, especially against a team that's actually paying attention. So, it's a good showing, but not the kind of insane thing against a team that's not, you know, keeping up. So we're going to start by getting our good lad points by capturing B. Be all that you can be. Does anybody else remember that little old slogan? Uh, back in the day, I remember it. So, yes, the Agu guy is quite tall compared to the uh, the newer Thunderbolt uh, Ak guys. Okay, so I was going to come up here and I thought, okay, while they're paying attention over there, I want to slip over here into their DMs behind this wing, wing and wait for an opportunity. Now, the problem I have is that they're staying really compact at the moment. And I'm not getting a huge amount of options to go in on them. So, I see this guy moving up, so I'm going to catch him with that. And I told you, those have some heck of a long range. 
And I'm going to get pushed back a little bit by these two guys on their team. And we're going to continue to push. But I'm going to use the wing because I'm trying to get in on things. I see that there's some trouble over here, so I shift. And I'm going to wait, catch him with the side swing, and then down swing him. And I'm going to... Nope, I'm not too late on that. Well, I'm going to get pushed by this guy. And I'm going to back off just enough. Then I'm going to be able to get a little bit of work in here, take him out, and then back off again. This unit is very fragile, in case you want to know. Um, so I'm going to push over here, because I wanted to counter this guy pushing. But unfortunately, he has some good options to stop me. So what I'm going to do is try to basically um, buy some time by walking around slowly. I'm going to misclick a little bit there, but I'm going to be able to dodge out before he gets me with his big stagger. And I decide, okay, I got a guy there. I'm going to go ahead and shift over to the left and see if I can find any targets of opportunity. And I see some stuff going on here, but I still don't want that guy coming after me. So I'm going to come over, catch him with his long range tentacles, but he's going to roll out. I'm going to move a little bit more, catch him again, knock him down. I'm going to get pushed by, oh, I forget which one this is, but he's going to basically get me pushed back a little bit more. I'm being probably a little bit overly cautious, and that's going to cost me. So that's our first death, everybody. So I'm going to spawn in at the home base because I thought something might be going on here because five is doing something. There might have been someone trying to sneak in. I don't know. But there's nothing here right now, so I'm going to go ahead and push out with my guy here. I'm going to swing over and use a little bit of this cavern to our advantage. Now, I'm not going to go all the way down and do some sneaky snorkering with some explosive type things on their base. Instead, I'm going to try to loop around and get a, a shot at their team here. So we're going to jump up onto the edge. And we're going to crouch down here and look at what we got going. So we see the support over yonder. And we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of pushing up to this wing. But we see their team coming back in and uh, pushing three. So what I'm hoping to do is come in on the support. Uh, hi, baby. Catch him with those down swings. We'll catch that one guy because his team member shot him in the back. We'll take him out, catch uh, him with the heavy stagger, we knock him down, but our team member comes in at the wrong time. So we're going to back off again. And we're going to get a little bit of pressure from the right, but he doesn't know what to do. And we're going to catch him with those long range melees. And I'm going to come back in to help four. I'm going to hold back and only do one lashing, and I'm going to come over here, catch their little support active, but I'm not going to be able to do much because we get shot clear in the back, which is always the most fun thing you can get. And we're going to get a little bit of pushing, knock him back down to try to help support our guy, get him close to being finished off, but not quite there. And we're going to catch the support and we should have him finished off, but we're going to get shot in the back again. And we're going to back off, get smacked by the uh, Aqua Jam. But he's going to find out what the power of the Freak is as we take out their support. Shotgun does not care. And we see that we got a couple guys here. So what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to swing over here and put some pressure on their general act guy. Catch him with those long range uh, sweep down, miss him with that little follow up, but I'm going to back off, come back over here, go after their raid, knock him down, and we're going to put a little bit of extra damage on them legs, and they're going to push uh, me into this corner. Unfortunately, um, very fragile, and that's our second death. So we're going to uh, drop in at B, be all that you can be, remember. And we're going to push up here. Uh, oddly enough, our team has two support act guys. So it's a very odd match in that regard. Um, 
So I'm waiting for a chance, and I decide that this is the best time to come in, use those head Vulcans, put a little bit of pressure on that guy. And uh, number four is just pushing. He's going to finish off that one guy. We're going to come in with the head Vulcan. And then we're going to come in, smack him with a little bit of tentacle, catch this guy in the face, go for the knockdown. We're going to knock our own guy down. He's going to roll out. And unfortunately for him, air support and tradition come in to ruin both of our days. So he's gone, and now I have one health. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off here, and we're going to fast forward through this um, repairing montage. So, enjoy. So we're going to get back in our suit. We have 20 odd seconds on the board. We have 3000 health. I don't believe there's much we're going to get done, but we're going to come up and push as things explode in the distance and we turn around hoping to catch the guy spawning, but it's not going to matter as we take out that wop. Or I forget what they're called. Any anyhow, there's the match. Let's see how we did. Was the cat goes crazy in the background. So there's our victory pose. Very sassy. No board spots, but second place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.